Hello, uh, this is Kriti Manjal uh, from 2009 batch and uh, I am currently a clinical psychologist working with Fortis Healthcare. In terms of that, you know, when I was in class 10th, at that point of time, I had my, uh, you know, the Pali ma'am uh, used to teach me uh, SST. And that's when she asked me that, you know, when in class 11th, what stream you're going to choose. And I had already decided that, you know, that, you know I am going to take up psychology because that's somewhere that, you know, uh, would interest me. So even when I was, you know, earlier when I was in class 6, 7, I used to read about different fields that I would probably take up. So I used to read about, you know, computer engineering because that were the main streams. So I, it didn't interest me. So I wanted to be psychology was one subject which always interested me. So I took in my class 11, I happened to take humanities by choice. Back then, you know, it used to be little stigma attached to the humanities stream. So there used to be a lot of people in the school also that used to tell me that, you know, why is it that you're choosing humanities? Why not science? Even, you know, you can get through science, you will get commerce. But I was like, I was committed that, you know, no, I want to take up humanities. Uh, but then initially when I, you know, I was doing my, I started with my 11th classes, there was a huge shift. There were a lot of, you know, students who would not be very interested in psychology and because they were, you know, they were uh, given that choice of subjects. So they were not very happy with the subjects and they were not not really interested but I was very focused because I wanted to be a psychologist so that the, there were some adjustment problems that I was facing in the beginning of my class 11. My favorite spot where uh, you know I used to enjoy with my friends used to be near that swimming pool area when this uh, when this new building came up we earlier were in the back uh, earlier were in the different building but when this building came up it was like you know a sudden shift and then the swimming pool also came so there was this one particular area where we would go and we would hang out especially in, you know in the monsoon it used to be lovely. <laughs> So being a Ryanite, when I say that, you know, uh, even when you talk about uh, all the things that have had held us together, for that matter, even the prayer songs that we used to sing, even, you know, every time I, now I celebrate my Christmas, it's almost like, you know, we don't celebrate it, you know, to the extent that we used to celebrate it when we were in Ryan. So that, I think those small, small movements and, you know, those prayer songs, those, uh, those assemblies that we had uh, in every morning, which, you know, in the beginning, of course, it used to be like that, you know, we have to reach on... Uh, uh, we have to be in school, we have to go to these assemblies and we have to be in a certain, you know, a dress code should be followed. That, that coming back, you know, uh, it really helps us in understanding that, you know, why those things were important, why even when our teacher used to tell us that, you know, you should be quiet. Now when I go and take workshops, now I know why, how and then from what perspective our teacher used to say that you should be quiet when I am teaching in the class and you should not be making noises. So I think Dianite as a whole has helped me in who I am and what I am doing currently and it's the foundation that has, the Ryans has given me that has helped me you know in shaping my life.